Well, joining us now, world Fu Manchu moustache champion Ted Sedman, world sideburns champion Alf Jarrold, along with their fellow competitors Michael Attree, uh, Mike Solomons, and Jurgen Berghardt, who's flown over especially from Germany. So, welcome, gentlemen. Thank what you very much. an impressive Great. lineup of facial furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Just well spectacular. Said. Now, there is a there's a new book that comes out on Friday, the World Beard and Moustache Championships, the first official book, uh -huh. and in it, I mean, it is full of pictures, the like of which you just cannot possibly imagine that they would be real. And and my first question, really, Ted, um, when you go to these uh, these championships. Um, if you're not known within the um, beard and moustache world, um, how uh, do they have to come up and give you a bit of a, a pull, a tweak, to make sure that what you have on your face is real? Uh, before, before each championship, they have a pre-jury where everyone has to present himself before the jury to make sure that they're in the right category. Mm -hmm. So you make sure that they haven't got hair growing where it shouldn't be growing. And yeah. it's, it's all in the right style. But do they give it a tug to make sure that you're not actually mm -hmm. unisoned, that there isn't a bit of wiggle under I don't think there. anyone's mm -hmm. been caught cheating to that so respect. It doesn't go on. Oh, no, it's, no, no. It's, it's not part of the image. Right, because you're all gentlemen. Of course. Then, you can see that you're all gentlemen. Uh, good chance. Yeah. Yeah. Good chance. Good eggs. Frightfully good chance. <laughs> good <eggs. laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Alf, they are impressive sideburns, aren't they? Amazing. They're, yeah. they're spectacular. They're like wee bunny rabbits <laughs> on your face. <laughs> <laughs> we, call it, we call it a nest. Pardon? Is it called a, do we call it a nest? I mean, a, a nest? You well, see what's you, in you, it. A, a bird <laughs> may, may have a habit of trying to gain a nest there, but I, I don't oh. allow it. I mean, I how how, how do you a... groom here? What do you, what do, you do to make um, sure it's neat and tidy? Well, I use... Um, well, a um, well, a shockwave. Oh yes. And 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 how long does it take you to sort of groom of a groom of uh, a morning? Well, I've had it what about uh, forty years, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. What about the weather? Does the weather play havoc? I mean, it's head. I think. Do you have problems? Normally, with I have mine wound up. Yes. Ah. Um, only wear it for very special occasions right. like this. Right. The one problem is I can't go swimming because the the effect the walrus effect is really <laughs> not very pretty. Not Michael, I'm loving this whole look. Thank you very much. The whole look is very good. Now, what is your category of moustache? Well, at the oh, big problem. <laughs> no, that's fine. Right. Your eye had come out from over there. But I don't have a shot. Well, at the uh, European World Championships, the category was the English. I, I'd waxed ah, the ends. Ah, of course. So, yeah, so yeah, this yeah. was a few years ago. I was rather right. chuffed to have won a. A trophy for our country at that, but uh, but as it is at the moment, it, it's just your classic, rather dashing handlebar. <laughs> you, were, dashing. you like to be called atters, don't you? Oh, well, yeah, yes, that's what I'm known as for many. Well, ma, it's very <laughs> a mad atter. Atter. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right then, atters. So, um, so you have three different types of wax that you use. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Well, I've got actually a whole cupboard full of the damn things. But there's three that I use generally. Or you know, you have a sort of something for the body to smooth out and then the tips need a, a stiffener mm. otherwise it will start sort of going all over the place really. what's uh, what what what's oh, that's this the that's, uh, that's oh, Mike's Mike's yes. got here. pomade hongroise oh, and that's a, that's a, a wax one of the types of waxes can i have a look it? yeah pardon me. and do you use that as well yeah i use that yeah, yeah. and See? otherwise they look like a, a walrus ah, <laughs> so you really have to i mean you have to work at it you just, oh, just well you do it, yes you know? i mean otherwise it just flops down so uh, a little bit of brushing now and again oh, my wife's always accusing me that it's uh, no. drooping too much so. now, does your wife like it well, she's had it for about 45 years, so <laughs> yes. No choice. Yes, she's used to it by now. Yeah, does it stop you doing anything? I mean, does it, does it get plus? annoying? Uh, not really. No. I mean, it's a bit dodgy eating certain things like soup because then it tends to droop it down into the soup. Yeah. Yeah. Candy floss is a definite no-no. Yeah. You've got all mixed up. No you get one 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 mm. And beer, out, and you? beer. If you've got a beer, you know, with yeah. a lot of froth on, you have some for yeah. later. In Germany, we are, have a very high level for styling. We we have more clubs in Germany, and they all want to be have the best. Mm, right. And so we have a very high level, and we we make we work very hard mm. for the championships, mm. and uh, the clubs want to have more champions. And mm. I'm also a president of the club, and I want to to bring or give information for our members mm. that they 
also can be a champion. And well, it's the full regalia. It is. I mean, it's it really is. Oh, it's a magnificent game, look. But there, I'm just to get controversial just for a moment, um, guys. Oh, um, <laughs> apparently, as I know, I, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, uh, that apparently, in a recent survey, nine out of ten women who were who were surveyed prefer clean-shaven men. Oh. That's because they haven't the kissed me. <laughs> That's what it is. It's the kiss test. You know, you've got to, they've, got, they've got to try it out, haven't they, Mike? Oh. Oh. If, uh, once a woman's had one of these smashes stuck to her lips, believe me, they don't forget it. Really? Absolutely. I, I, I can it's, believe that. It's, like, <laughs> eating, sure it's like eating beef without mustard. You know, you've got to have <laughs> yes. the embellishment, the sauces are, are that, are what makes it good. Ted, <laughs> the, uh, the apparently also in the same <laughs> <laughs> in the same survey, seven out of ten said it was old-fashioned. <gasps> Oh, well, then. That's, well, that's marvelous. probably right. Yeah, yeah, no, that's probably right. right. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing to do with modern rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> this is a club that was started by Jimmy Edwards. Jimmy Edwards. Edwards. Yeah. After the war. Magnificent yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He actually did it to, to get money for orphans and uh, of per, uh, 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 service children's personnel. Children's yeah, yeah, children's yeah. charities. And, and we so, still do. Yeah, and that's what we try and do now. But we're very small now. Yes. We're only about 50 of us in England. 54 or something. Would you ever consider shaving it all off, any of you? Would no, you ever no. Do I got offered £30,000 to shave mine off. And you wouldn't do that? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I said, maybe if he put the cash food. actually in front of <laughs> <laughs> But he said, I'll write you a cheque, and I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, uh, this is the, the first official uh, beard and moustache uh, book, uh, and it, it's it's. Fabulous, as I said. Great it's pictures. A, it's, a, it's a 